please subscribe the channel and hit the like button. Russian President Vladimir Putin said that Ukrainian troops have started a long-expected counteroffensive and were suffering significant losses in their efforts to punch through Moscow's defense lines in Ukraine. We can clearly say the offensive has started, as indicated by the Ukrainian army's use of strategic reserves, Putin told reporters in Sochi on Friday, where he was meeting with heads of other states in the Eurasian Economic Union but the Ukrainian troops haven't achieved their stated tasks in a single area of fighting, he said. We are seeing that the Ukrainian regime's troops are suffering significant losses, Putin said, without providing details. It's known that the offensive side suffers losses of 3 to 1, it's sort of classic, but in this case, the losses significantly exceed that classic level, he added. With virtually no independent reporting from the front lines and Kiev saying little on its military operations, it was impossible to assess Putin's claims or whether Ukraine was penetrating Russian defenses in its bid to drive out occupying forces. Authorities in Ukraine have either denied or declined to confirm if their counteroffensive has started, despite military analysts and sources in Ukraine stating that the campaign has begun to incrementally unfold amid reports of increased fighting in several regions along the front lines with Russian forces in the east and southeast of the country. It's a policy now not to give a running commentary of events, and you see that in the words of President Zelensky, who has been praising the fighters in the east and talking about results, but has given no indication as to what these results may be. Al Jazeera's Jonah Hull, reporting from Kiev, said. Moscow claimed to have thwarted repeated attempts by the Ukrainians to breach Russian defenses in the Zaporizhia region to potentially try and cut supply lines to the south. Corroborating Russian reports are pictures on social media that show a Leopard 2 tank abandoned, certainly damaged, and in the company of it a number of Bradley fighting vehicles, Hull said referring to equipment donated by Germany and the U.S. The presence of those vehicles on the battlefield would suggest the involvement of units of the Ukrainian army specifically trained and equipped for the summer counteroffensive. The Institute for the Study of War ISW, a Washington, D.C.-based think tank, said on Friday that a variety of indicators suggested Ukraine's counteroffensive had begun and warned that the early phase of the campaign may also see the highest Ukrainian losses as efforts are made to push through the front lines against defending Russian forces. A Ukrainian military success in the Zaporizhia region would enable its forces to break through the land bridge that connects Russia with the Moscow-annexed Crimean Peninsula. That would be a significant reversal for Russia.